guy who was a camp counselor training kids. What was that like for you? <laughs> I was awesome today. I I love the last group especially because it was the older kids with high school. So being able to see the progression from the first like their first rep to their last, I was like, it was awesome. So I loved that, and then I loved helping with the kids too. It's just I love personalities, and there's a lot of personalities today, so it was awesome. It felt like watching you guys out here, obviously your teammates and friends already, and it felt like this experience was kind of like a team, you know, building experience as well. Was that like yeah. You guys? Oh, for sure. I mean, yesterday with the Cubs game. All of us were there hanging out, watching baseball. And then today, like I feel like it just really brought everyone that was here a lot closer. I mean, I talked to some kids I haven't been able to talk to a lot. Um, so it was awesome. I mean, I think it definitely helped with like team building and stuff like that. It also helped NIL. So JJ made it a point to make this be an NIL experience for all of you guys. What does that mean to you as a teammate? Uh, I mean, it's awesome. Like, you know, being, I mean, how I am, I don't really put myself out there for like, opportunities like this, I guess. So being able to attend something with JJ that obviously he did a great job putting this on. I was really, really happy for it and it was awesome. You got any more like, any more camp or any NIL things that you're doing the rest of the summer? Uh, not really, I'm just trying to get back to the weight room folks on the season now at this point. So, you know, we saw, obviously we saw you in high school, right? You had to come back from an injury. But we saw you in flashes. I'm thinking of the Maryland game last right? yeah. year. Yeah. What was last year like for you? Kind of take me through what that experience was like getting your first real field back. Right. Uh, it was awesome. I mean, that's what I came here to do, come here to play. Uh, last year was still a little rough, you know. I mean, same with time two. Should have been first rounders, you know. Yeah. Um, and then I actually hurt my knee before the Maryland game. So, like, it's, it was a tough year, but I'm excited. Like, I'm, I mean, I'm excited for this year to have a bigger role and be able to step into a bigger role and be on on the field, so I'm excited. So now understand when I say this, I'm not comparing you to age. All right, understand yeah, yeah. that. But there's a, there are a lot of similarities. I mean, right. both of you guys multi sport sports stars. Both of you guys play lacrosse. Both right. of you guys are like six six and just the same profile. You look alike. Yeah, you're like yep. you be brothers. <laughs> so when you hear that, I mean, is that pressure for you, or do you kind of put that to the side? Uh, I want to say it's pressure. I mean, I I put it to the side a little bit, but I mean, like that's like a big bro to me. I mean. I, he recruited me here. He was here when I first got here. He was here for my two years. And uh, just looking at where he is now and like still talking to him and all that, like I don't mind being compared to it, but I want to make my own narrative and be, oh, that's Brady McGregor. I'm a little, you know, that's that's what I'm looking forward to. Yeah, so, you know, Aiden had to come behind Rashawn Gary. Right. And then made, made his own name and right. had his own star. Has he talked to you about that? Like, hey, I, I had to go, I was exactly where you are. Yeah, a little bit, I mean, he kind of same situation. He played or he played early. I did it because I was injured. Then he got injured, so it was kind of like the same thing. And he was just talking about like, hey, bro, like just keep focusing up. Same with same with David Ajabo. I mean, I talked to him all the time. He's like, bro, just focus up. Like you'll be there. Like you'll be fine. So both of those guys really helped me a lot this year. And I mean, they're still helping me, and they're they're gone. I mean, so it's awesome. So what has it been like with uh, your new D line coach, Coach Elson? Right. I mean, I love Coach Elson. Uh, I mean, he recruited me. He's probably one of the best recruiters I've ever had. Uh, like it was so hard to say no to Notre Dame, um, but having him here, like I just remember, I I saw it on Twitter and I texted him like, let's go, and he was like, let's get to work, and I was like, all right, and he's like, I'll be in Sunday morning. So Sunday morning I went in, saw him, he was wearing his Michigan gear. I'm like, that looks a little weird, but I like it. And so it's been good. He's he's a great coach. I mean, just with spring ball, he's like how he's developed us already. Like he's we can do great things this year on that D line for sure. So yeah, I know you focused on everything this off season, but mm -hmm. are there you know, one or two things that have been your biggest sort of emphasis or priorities right. in the offseason? Yeah, uh, I mean, pretty much my pass rushing. That's where I feel like I can put the big, like the biggest impact on the field this year. So I've been really focusing on that a lot. And then, uh, you know, just getting bigger in the weight room. Those are my two main things that I've been focusing on. So, yeah, <laughs> what, are you, really what are you up to now weight-wise? Uh, about 265. 265. Is that where yeah. you want to be? Is that like your idea yeah. plan? Yeah, I mean, I want to gain a little bit for camp, so when I lose it, but other than that, I think 265 is my, my weight. I like it. And then last one for you, Brady, other than the personnel, which is the obvious difference from last year, right. are there things that you think we should expect to see different about what you guys do or how you do it? Right. I mean, new guys on the field, that's that's really the big change. But you know, I think the first game, everyone's going to be like, OK, this team's back. You know, it, Everyone's thinking, oh, we lost all these key players. But hey, we'll, we'll be good this year. Just wait. We'll be all right.